Hi guys, so in today's video we're going to look at an old Irish way of digging potatoes, the lazy bed, and how you can save loads of time and effort and energy um, digging beds in your garden. So let's have a look at it. Hi guys, welcome back to our garden. Um, so today we're looking at, at digging in for our potatoes, okay, and we really want to save time and effort. Um, so we're going to use um, a hybrid kind of permaculture slash old Irish traditional way to, to dig in the beds. Sky here now wants me to throw the ball to him, so he's just... <laughs> knows that we're making a video so he's like right up in <laughs> on top of us to throw the ball again and again for him so um what we're doing we're going to put down the lady lazy beds we're going to turn the sod over to exclude the grass or exclude the light from the grass so we're not going to get a lot of weeds and we're going to cover in the the, the inside with whatever we have Ideally, like if we could, we would love to be doing no dig. We'd love to be putting down some cardboard, laying a massive layer of compost on top of it and just planting into that. But we just don't have um, massive amounts of compost and we're not really interested in buying in stuff like that, you know. So we're going to work with what we have. And what we have is, um, is we've got a load of horse manure, we have a load of coffee grounds, spent coffee grounds, and we've got some straw and some cardboard, all free resources that we were able to get our hands on so what me and Yvonne done now today so far is um, we put down our line here we cut out the sod as you can see it on this side we turn the sod over hinge it over on top of the grass so you've got like in between here now you've got grass on both sides sandwiched in and there's no light going to get to that grass um, we're going to do the exact same on the other side turning the sod over so we're going to end up with a channel of a foot so these beds here they're about a meter they're about three foot in diameter um, so we're going to have a channel in the middle which we're going to again take some of the soil from this area here which is actually going to become a path we'll fill that with wood chip um, and we're going to put that in the center then we're going to put our sheet mulch down which is going to be horse manure some coffee grounds we're going to put our cardboard on top of that um, and then on top of that we're going to put a layer of straw and we're going to make holes through the cardboard and plant our potatoes into it we're also going to be planting squashes and i'm going to try out planting corn i've done this before in a few different situations and it works quite well um, and it's very cost effective and time effective and energy effective um, no one wants to be digging like that's the worst part of the garden and, and then the best thing about this all this will rot down next year the potatoes are going to break up the soil the microbiology and the worms are going to dig it through and next year we're going to have fantastic 40 foot beds we're going to have two of them here um, two fantastic 40 foot beds that we can plant whatever we want into them and then we can start the whole rotation cycle again plant another bed um, over here with potatoes and squashes and then something else can get grown in this bed and then the cycle will continue and continue um, until we've got no space left <laughs> so this is where we're at now so we've done all the main digging we've turned the sods over and we've dug a little channel around the end as well for a path We've put whatever sods we had available then back into the centre and we dug a little bit then from the path and put that in on top. So the next step for us now is to put down some cardboard, um, some manure and whatever organic matter that we have on top. Um, and then pretty much the beds will be ready to be planted into. Um, this point, the main digging part where you're turning the sod over, that took us roughly just over an hour all in to get here. So it's a very fast way to get down a 40 foot by a uh, 3 foot bed uh, and, and absolutely effective as well. So next thing now I'll go get the manure and I'm going to put that down and then the cardboard. Here's another example of a lazy bed that I dug um, back in the start of October and it's absolutely doing fantastic it's full of garlic at the moment 
So we done the exact same method with that. This one is a little bit more narrow um, and that seems to be doing absolutely fine at the moment. So that's it now guys. We have the 40 foot bed done. Um, it only literally took a couple of hours to do today. The last step we done now after we put down the cardboard is we put manure um, that we have here for the last about three months on the bed. So we're not gonna plant into it now. Today is the 21st. I like to get my potatoes in around the 17th of March, which is Patrick's Day. Um, so that'll be our first earlies will be going in around then. When I plant the potatoes, I'll do another video on that. It'll be just cutting a hole in the cardboard sticking the tuber in the contact of the soil and then we'll be covering it over with straw and um, so at this point now we'll just put the the manure on let it get watered in leave it leave it decompose a small bit uh, and then we're ready we're ahead of the game we're ahead um, by about three weeks for the potato planting and um, so yeah that's it if you like this video or would like to see more like it you can uh, follow our channel and subscribe and if any of you do something similar to this, um, I'd love to hear some feedback. One other option that I was thinking about doing as well, we were going to go um, and do the second part of this process. We were considering it just putting the cardboard on the floor or on the grass and putting the manure on top of it, planting the potatoes into the ground um, and mulching on top of it. We might even yet do another bed alongside of this so we can compare both. Uh, approaches but um, if anyone has tried that I'd love to hear a bit of feedback from that okay and um, enjoy the rest of your February anyway guys thanks mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. who's that this is Ruby she's a mommy's girl what's the crack of Ruby she's a good girl. Mm -hmm. oh. get some worms Ruby